Hey guys, how you doing? This is Anthony Gray. As you can see, I did another uh, one of these pours. Backside looks pretty good, but the transition, eh, well, let's just say it had better days. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I have two of these, and I'm going to correct both of them to make them look somewhat passable. Alright. Uh, I think this is about as close as I can get it. Okay, so what I'll do when I come back is I'll show you what to do when you encounter a mess like this and try to turn it into something nice. Alright, okay. Alright guys, how you doing? Listen, like I said earlier, this is kind of a botched attempt. Alright, but I'm going to try to straighten this out as best as I can. Alright, so without further ado, first thing I'm going to do with this to make it look somewhat presentable is I'm going to coat the edge with white and try to match the gray, but I used purple and um, other colors, uh, mainly purple. Um, the transition right here is really what I want to get. So I'll just lay this down fairly thick and let it dry. I'll probably be going over it again. All right. And when you do come across a little bit of an error, like one of these, all right, don't be scared to go over it. It was time to use this transition. It took a few days for this to totally dry and whatnot. So, as you can see, even though I'm doing this right now, I'm not worried about the streaks or whatever. It's, um, some of it's showing through because I have to go over it again once it dries. All right, where her face is, right here, you get it as close as possible, really. Okay, now if I gotta get a little closer with the camera, I will. Right now, I just want to straighten it all out. Mainly get the uh, get rid of the dark splotches. Even though most of this will be covered in. All right, so I'm not too worried about it. Where her chest is here, straighten some of that out. This is um, titanium white, which, as you know, covers a, a vast array of ills and mistakes and whatnot. So. That I'm not too worried about. Even this, I'm going back over it again. Acrylic paint dries ridiculously fast. Okay, so it's just me going over it. little bits and pieces of it. Now, I'm gonna have stuff painted right over this uh, line. All right, so I, I'll fill it up pretty good. I already got an idea in mind what to do with it. Um, so. This is a uh, one inch brush, so, or yeah, it's a one inch flat. And basically, I'm just, like I say, I'm just covering up the majority of it. As long as the majority of it's covered up, we're good. You know. Okay. I'll take another brush and I'll put a little wavy thing. Well, you'll see as I go on. All right. All of this here, where her face is, this will be covered with something else entirely. Okay, now I can take a, a, uh, some white after I coat it with gray and, and I can wave right into this stuff here, if desired, but I think not. I think I'm going to do something a little more interesting, but first, once it dries, coat it with some purple, um, some of the light blue, and uh, some black, which made this type of gray, so this purple in the gray. So you gotta mix those colors to achieve uh, that continuous look. Now I gotta do that with the whole face. Just get it as close as possible. And then after that, I'll put um, some of the other stuff on there. Now, as far as her, her, her silhouette's concerned, I can uh, tighten some of this up. Maybe fill out her lips a little bit more. Tighten the chin up a little bit. 
which is nothing but either uh, you can take a black marker and do it or you can take some, or some paint, or down paint, and just go on over it, make it as smooth as possible. Okay. So that's basically kind of like my call when it's all said and done. But for, for the uh, fulfilling of her lips and whatnot, that'll be uh, maybe done with either white or black. It all depends on where I choose to go with it. Okay. Now, as far as trying to color match this, basically it's really a uh, uh, it's just simple to get the type of gray that I'm looking for. It's a mixture of the violet that I have and some and some uh, and some black, really. All right. So basically, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just mixing in some uh, some black in with the purple and with a little bit of the white, lighten it up a bit. Try to get it as close as possible. You know, basically, I just want the uh, the closeness of the main piece, close as possible. If if it's a little too blue, a little too purple, just add black to gray it out. It will definitely gray it out. Okay, and remember, once it dries, it dries a little darker anyway. Alright, so, something like this. As I said, something like so. All right. Get it as close as I can to her nose and lips. I can stop playing around like that before I really destroy it. Okay. Something like so. Basically, all I need. Right. Rinse off with a brush. Now, the color that I do have. I'm going to use a smaller brush, a little bit of water, let's get a round brush, a round brush and get into the details a little bit better, putting some water into my uh, brush itself, using the same color that I previously mixed, I'm going to get into the small little crooks and crannies. The paint will um, move around a lot better when you put a light varnish on it. It just makes everything a little smoother. Okay. Now, like I say, it's really up to you of how much of a... Um, I'm going to mix some more here with the round brush. A little purple, a spot of blue some black in there, a little bit of white, lighten it up just a tad, so that's what I'm mixing up here.
black, so just keep adding the black and the purple. Makes a very pleasant looking gray, actually. I kind of like it. I think I'll use this for my gray. A little bit of purple, black, and white. I kind of, it's a warmer gray. Like I said, it's a kind of a warmer gray, and I kind of like it. It looks pretty slick. Alrighty then. All I need was this. Just let it dry one good time or so. I like the transition here. Because the color closely kind of matches with what's going on back here. Like I say, a lot of that you won't see, but I got to let it totally dry. Like I said, I hope you see what you can do to get it to um, to match up and whatnot. Now, I can do some cutesy little things. Um, I'll show it to you right now. Take a little bit. It's basically taking uh, a lot of white. Um, Let's take some pure white. I'm going to another uh, little uh, um, the tiniest bit of gray in it. More like a, a half on half type of thing. Like a one stroke deal. Alright. And I can just kind of play around in it. Uh, you're going to need a lot of titanium white. I want to just fade in a little bit here and there. And you can play around with the shading and, and such. Come on down here like that. Get some more titanium white. Keep playing with it. You can have some disappear and whatnot. I'm bleeding it into and out of the colors. From the look of it, I'm going to need some more titanium white. And that's if I find. I remember it's still wet. And it's funny, you think you need a lot of You wouldn't think you need a lot of white. But I already used up the white that I already had. So I'm going to use this white. I'm going to put the white on my other tray here to keep the white pure. And find the brush I was using. I think it was this one. Kind of mock what's going on maybe in here. Dip, dip in a lot into your white. Sneak it in there like that. Now, to add to that illusion a little bit, let's make some of this disappear. Let's fade it in. Rub out some of that. Okay. You can make some of that you know, make some of that disappear in there. Face of that out. Play around with a little, little bit of uh play around with a little bit of the purple in there. Yeah, that sneak in there a little bit. You'd be surprised how a lot of this color matches once it dries and such. Okay. Now remember there's a little bit of blue in there too. So we'll tease some of that blue. Not much. Some, some of it here and there. 
fade some of that into there, into some of that color. You gotta cross some of that. Feel it's too strong, rub some of it out. So you gotta blend some of that in there into that line. And fade some of that color in there. Alright, kind of mix it up in there a little bit. Fade some of it out. Bring some up top here. It all makes sense in a second. Okay. It will. Honest. I promise. say, you know, what the heck is going on here? Well, for one, getting rid of some of that line kind of brings it in a little bit. Okay. If you want to get nitpicky, which is what I'm about to do right now, like okay, a lot of this is not going to matter once I start color, uh, covering this stuff up, but you can add like your own little homemade um, cells or whatnot. Like, take a Take a fine a strip liner, a little bit of water, loosen up the paint a little bit. You can go as detailed as you want or don't want. All up to you. Alright. The thing about creating the cells, you gotta have to kinda have a strong little outline of what. to be exact, not supposed to be. Make them spider web out. Stuff like that. The more you add to it, the more it kind of looks like what it's supposed to, you know, fading in. Stuff like this. Something like that. This really haphazard looking stuff. Hap. See, a lot of what I'm doing may or may not show, but it's going to make a lot of sense once it's done. Okay. All right. I should have added a little bit of that sky blue in there uh, in pieces. So let me do a little bit of that. And I only need a slight amount. I took like a, 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 a period dot of a uh, sky blue. I use the corner of, of, of my flat brush. And, you know, see this? Get, get, get something matching in there. Let's try it around a little bit. Put it all up in here. You guys might be hearing a lot of that little off, uh, off the, put some down here on the bottom. Have it travel, travel it all up in here. I don't have to have too much of it, but just enough. Okay. Okay. So, let's let that dry and let that set just a tad. I'm going to spray my little canvas with water and let the uh, acrylic um, you spray it with water, it holds it a little bit longer. I'm not worried about all this lingering stuff all up in here. It's not going to matter. But I am going to go over sharpening up that black a little stronger. Uh, it needs to be a little bit tighter. Uh, actually, it is looking the way it's supposed to look. Flat. 
because I have um, varnish on this so you're gonna see the outline until I re-varnish everything so basically the way it looks now is the way it's supposed to look all right I'll like I say I'll tighten up some things here all right make sure whatever is supposed to be rounded stays rounded whatever is supposed to be curved stays curved I want her to look like a female. So, and I do believe I got what I got, and it looks great. Um, I'm debating whether I should add an eyelash on her or not. Um, I'm just going to have to mix some more gray here for a second. Alright. A little bit of white. white so I can gray it up a tad I might add an eyelash in there and darken it up it's, I, can, I can say I'd rather go really dark or at least my perceived perception of that dark there eyelash Right there. Okay. Uh, brown on her nose a little bit. All right. Much better. I don't think I need any more uh, tightening up anywhere. I just wanted to add that little bit in there. It will all match once I glaze everything. So. Remember, it's wet. It's not dry yet. Okay. So keep those little rules in, in relation. That one, it's not dry. Excuse my arm. Got to give it a chance to dry. All right. All right. Once I return, we'll add some of the stuff to tie all of this um, together. So stay tuned, be right back. Hey guys, what's happening? Alrighty, some time has went by, even though it's like a nanosecond to you guys. But what I'm going to do with uh with uh with our face, now that I got the color matched as you can see, alright, I'm gonna mix some blue and some green together or some blue and yellow together make some green here all right and uh maybe a slight touch of white slightest touch i still want to kind of maintain a little little dark green or green with a little bit of blue in it okay and i'll put a uh, symbol of some leaves of sorts in her hair or in her whole face actually so I'm going to just um, nothing really extravagant okay not really it's gonna start like this now as I'm doing these all right I'll overlap them and whatnot and when it gets to highlighting these guys, that's where the uh, the real fun will pretty much come in. I can overlap them any type of way I want. Um, get a little water. So this is going to be more or less kind of monotonous. So I might speed this up a little bit for you guys. Just for time's sake.
like I say, doing the highlights. Some of it can be a little monotonous, like I said. To a little bit of yellow here just to add a little uh, different flavor to some of these guys all right As I'm doing these, obviously, there will be, as there's a lit side, there will be a shaded side. Just adding more white to whatever color I want to mix in for a highlight today. Always adding a center fade uh, in a couple of these guys. But see, this is just a grouping of them. So, this is really where the fun comes in. Doing a, a mass array of these guys. in different colors. So even though I may have not had this pour exactly perfect, okay, you can always kind of correct your errors of sorts. Like so. You could even create one in the mass of green. Alright. So, really, whatever floats your boat. So, let's darken in a few of these guys here. And then we'll start with some of the wiggle leaves. And we'll have some of the wiggle leaves travel on through here, tying everything together. Okay. I gotta just zoom in on this portion of it, of her face, of her head. Okay. On, uh, just for that purpose, really. So we're getting a little purple, a little bit of blue, mixing that in there. All right, a uh, little hint of white. This is more mainly the shaded side of uh, some of these guys, so. Specifically, uh, super detailed in them. But you can really have a lot of fun uh, with these guys. Some you can skip. detailed or how shaded uh, you want some of these guys. Some can come in front of the others, some can go behind the others. Alright, have some with more purple in it, some with more blue in it. Really up to you. Really up to you. Maybe I 
some might want some with more dark green in it. All depends. All depends on what you're looking for. Hope you, hope you guys can hear me. Guess I'll find this out in the actual recording of it. Or the, uh, when I play it back. Alright. So something like that. So let's get to the squiggle, squiggle, wiggle leaves. These are going to be a lot of fun. I'll just match, mash some colors together here. Um, had to be a little darker. I, um, if you can get a more of one color than the other, that would be a, uh, also good. Alright, so let's say I have a few trailing. Um, something like that. And then we'll carefully place some the wiggle guys in there. I'm uh, a little separated from uh, the other leaves. Put um, they must have tips on them. Okay. Vary the color. Don't be afraid to push down on these guys. Okay. I'm gonna plop some white in, in, in a couple of these, to make them stand out a little more. a little more violet, more white. Um, we'll have one coming in front of one leaf like that, coming down like so. And we'll just continue on with them. Have some come in front of the other guys. Don't be scared of using different colors. Okay, turn your brush around. If it uh, a little light or a little dark on one. Don't be afraid to darken them up a little bit. A little blue in there. And a few of them. What you do them, make sure you add that little tip in there. Have them run into each other. Put a little bit of blue in that little line there. Wiggle. Stuff like that. Brighten up a few of these guys. Let's have one coming up here. Come up, 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 up. And have one like that. I might have to dip into a little more white. We'll see. Purple with mix of the green and blue adds to the color harmony of the whole project. Okay. Nothing blatantly red. That won't be needed. I like how it's forming. Of course, I ran out of white once more. <coughs> but that's okay. But I'm having these guys uh, kind of slink along.
turn the brush over. I think you guys can see some of that. Okay. I'm going to have to switch batteries here. I can see that coming. It's going to pop out on me. Oh, nope. You guys can barely see that. Sorry about that. It's all on this side out here. It's a little lighter. Almost along that same kind of gray. I'm gonna switch off batteries and we'll continue on with this. And then go on to the next project. So I might have to darken that a little bit. I'm putting a little touch of blue in some of these so you can actually see where they are. Maybe even a hint of black with it. So black. A little bit of black, a little bit of blue, mix it in there. So these guys can be seen a little bit better. Oh, it's like so. Alright. Dip into a little more dark blue, a little bit of black. And we'll uh, give this one a reason for being there. How's that? Switching it around a little bit. Not all of it has to be super dark. But something like that. Alright. So we'll draw back a little bit and I'll switch the battery and I'll be right back. And we'll be on to our next one. Okay, let's draw back and let's see what that looks like. And we'll pan this up. If we can. And there, you, there she goes. Alright. Hey there. Hi there. Okay. Coming up on the tail end of this bad boy. Okay. So, got different variations of plants. Um, that's the back end. And here is the uh, front here. Alright. Front of her, end of her. So we'll put her right about there. Alright. On the top of the screen, that's just the very tip top. Alright. I guess I can put little red dingleberries or whatever in there to uh, kind of accentuate a little more. Plus it's the opposite on the color wheel. Don't have no red in here anyway, so. Just a little bit of red is all I need. All right. Um, I'll use my round brush and I'll just pop in. Circle in some red here and there. Not, not too many of them, but just enough. Here and there. Usually where the little bit of the gray is, I'll pop a few in where it bunched up like this. It just accentuates everything. Something like so. Um, you know what? I can even be kind of cute and just... Maybe... Let's see what giving her some lipstick looks like there. Accentuate her lips just a tad. How's that? Just a, a little. Like she got some kind of little makeup thing going on there. Just like that. Okay, and we'll pop in some more red. To and fro. She's got a lot of this uh, hidden. Um, we'll have a few of them dangling out here a little bit. Uh, some of them in here, a little bigger, like that. A couple down here. Maybe. Probably a 
couple hanging around out here. Like that. Something like this. Everything kind of ties in together. I don't have to add too many of them. And I don't really have to highlight a lot of them. But, you know, it kind of keeps it moving along. Follow me? So I really don't have to add too much to her. To be honest with you. I kind of like this, and I kind of don't. Let's see. Kind of looks like hidden. It's kind of like okay. Maybe if I added a little white highlight there, it would uh, signify that those are her, her lips. I think we kind of know they're her lips, but still. Uh, if I can get enough bright white, maybe I'll. Something like so. Okay, I really don't have to do nothing with her eyelash. Her eyelash is pretty much there, in there. Um, I think that'll work. And I'll put my, uh, I'll put my signature in there somewhere. A little bit of the violet, uh, a little white in the violet. And I'll just put my signature probably over here on the other opposite end here where it's pretty much kind of out the way and it's not too overbearing huh, I don't like it I'm gonna have to use my silver pen for this so I'll just wipe that crap away I did try with the brush I don't like it I'll use this silver pen I'll use silver and gold because it, it'll hide it more and it won't be so blatant being on the other side. So, I usually don't sign my name on the opposite end, but on this one, why not? I'm going to have to... It is in silver. You have to have to move the picture around a little bit to see that my signature is in there, but it is there. On the corner in silver is metallic. All right. So this, I'll give you a little once over here. There is her face. I'm still debating whether I should keep that lip there or not. I'm still debating. But there she is, the whole thing. Okay. And we're gonna move right on to the other project there. So this is the pour that, uh, wasn't turning out too cool and then I just added the leaves kind of accentuate her face a little bit and um, well there you go all right I'm gonna put the next one up here and we're gonna work with that one so I'll be right back all right guys second half now if you can't tell you will in a second this is obviously the head of a tyrannosaur but the uh the pour was successful but the uh the, the uh, contact paper had some leakage all right i think i know what i'm gonna have to do to combat that problem but for right now i have to actually paint all this guy in okay especially when it comes to his teeth teeth have to be kind of exact now I know where his teeth are I can see it where you guys really cannot all right so I'll carefully now as you can see I'm using gray I'm gonna keep mr. Rex white when I paint over it but the gray will help cover up all the uh,
remember when you get different shades and hues remember some of this is drying a little faster than the other stuff just mixing in some more pure paint no medium no none of that all all paint i wanted to cover so no glazes and no nothing like that just need that unmistakable t-rex silhouette in which i have right now um his teeth will be a lot more refined once i put the titanium white on there um this guy definitely has to totally dry okay now, the fun thing about mr rex also and this is obviously 12 by 12 inch square um i can turn him around and do the same process let's see if i can do it and keep him in the frame here sealed in there some kind of way. Alright, getting a little more black. A little more white. So, yeah, I wouldn't need it because it's just uh, pretty much a simple silhouette. And when it's all done, then I'll varnish her all up. But that's what she's looking like so far. Okay, two different type pours, uh, more red and black. Then I just added the, uh, I got a, look um, like a ketchup bottle. It's got white with full troll in it. All right. And I just put that on there with a, with a spatula knife like this. And I just took it and I just wiped it around, swiped it around. It's like a baking a cake. Take it and just swipe it around. And what you see here is what's left because the flow trough separates and everything. It started to sell up, but I just wanted the kind of flowing thing. The red here coming out like that, that, that was a bonus. Didn't think it would come out like that, but it's pretty awesome. Okie dokie. I shall come back when this is totally dry and we're going to paint this all white. All right. Be right back. Hey peeps, what's going on? All right, we're back. It's a little later on in the day, at the time of me doing this, we are going to have some fun. All right, I gotta work on this guy. He will be a reverse silhouette. That tongue thing is a bonus. Uh, I did not know that th that was gonna happen. Still a bonus nonetheless. All right. I told you when I come back I was gonna work on the teeth gotta work on the teeth gotta be very uh
Okay. Get as close to the edge you quite possibly can. Alright. Just like that. Cover as much as you can. No, I already know I gotta dip into some more uh, titanium white. You might not be able to see the streaks uh, yet right now. As it dries, it, it'll, it'll streak up a little bit because of uh, the initial first coat. And that's fine. I just want to cover the guy or gal. Once this is dry, and it won't take long, then I'll uh, do the second. All right, you can hear me a little better. Down to the final leg of this thing here. That little Rexy. All right. Get some more white. All titanium white. Like a nice little reverse silhouette, you know? And uh, I guess I'll go from the back towards the front. You have it. Wow, that's supposed to be a long life battery. It is very, very poor quality. But it really doesn't matter. And we're gonna draw back a little bit. So you guys can totally look at what it looks like. And there you have it. Okay. So, I'll zoom in once again. You guys can check it out. I'll zoom it back out. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this. Okay. Hope it helps somebody. Give you some ideas on what to do. Okay. And I shall see you guys next time. I'll let it dry, varnish it, you see pictures of it and whatnot. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, somewhere around there. And uh, love to hear your input. Once again, this is Anthony Gray of Grayscale. I hope you enjoyed this segment. And I shall see you uh, shortly. God bless and bye-bye.